Hi guys, welcome back. I have some more nail art for you today. I'm feeling a little witchy today, a little disheveled today too. What's going on here? Um, we're gonna be doing these nails here. We have lots of purples and greens. We have some witchy leggings going on as the bookends of this mani. Of course, you do whatever you want on the thumb. And then I've got a witchy face here for you and a cauldron. So let's go ahead and get into these nails. I hope you have some fun. All right, my friends, we're gonna start as always by taking a look at the products that I used to create this manicure. I'm using a mix of Moonshine Mani nail polishes and some acrylic paint. I could not find my white acrylic paint. Note to self, go back to Michael's and pick up some white acrylic paint. Nail art is so much easier when you're using acrylic paint and not nail polish because nail polish just gets so sticky. So I decided to start out this manicure by doing um, jet black nails on the two nails that I'm going to be doing the hand painting. Well, I do a little bit of hand painting on the leggings that go on the side. Uh, this is Gorkid over there in the purple, and then this is Because I Knew You in the green. So um, yeah, firstly, what I'm going to do is lay down kind of like a basic base of what the witch's head is going to look like in the white. I wish it was acrylic paint. That's why it's looking so cray cray. It's because it's with nail polish. So I'm going to lay down a base first because I'm planning on using that neon green for her face and I want it to be nice and bright. So I'm going to start out with the white. About halfway through this nail art, I was really wishing that I had just started with white nails. But when I was beginning the manicure, I'm like, okay, I'm making witch nails. We're obviously going to have black nail polish on. So that was the reason for that. It ended up having me do like a little bit of extra steps here. <coughs> Excuse me, but I was just wondering, do you happen to know who turns off the lights on Halloween? It would be the lights witch. <laughs> back shadow second coat of gore kid this is like our most popular nail polish right now i'm so glad you guys love this we made it together at last month's swatch fest which our mix along which is coming up this saturday i hope you can come it's coming up at 12 noon pacific standard time we're gonna make nail polishes together you guys are gonna help me make them if you've never come before it's super super fun but the theme this month as uh, voted upon by you guys is gonna be holiday drinks and foods so i hope 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 you can come again it's this saturday the day before halloween it's gonna be at 12 noon pacific standard time on my channel here on my channel it's a live video Okay, so the witchy skin is because I knew you and it worked out so well because it has all those black elements and those fiery red to green flakies in there. It just was the perfect base for her skin. And then I used um, Gorkid for her hair to kind of tie that color back in because I really wanted to use some more of Gorkid. We're also going to use it for her warts. <laughs> anyway, I'm painting in her hat right here. You're really not going to be able to tell that she's wearing a hat very much in this nail art because nails are really small, guys. Nails are teeny tiny canvases and you can only fit so much on the nail unless you go in super, super minute detail. And I am not so great at that. So anyway, we are giving her some uh, some fierce cheekbones <laughs> and some uh, we're gonna draw in her mouth now and I'm just basically just detailing her out a little bit more so like I said guys I held to my word I went and got myself some new brushes before attempting this um, next hand painted Manny it looks like I'm drawing big old lines there but we are super super zoomed in I am trying my best to do what I learned from Robin Moses, which if you haven't checked out her videos on YouTube and you want to get into hand painting nail art, go check out her YouTube channel. Run over there and check it out. She has lots of Halloween stuff too. Anyway, she's incredible. But one of the things I learned from her was like literally get the smallest brush you can. She's who I learned to just cut my own brushes from, which I haven't cut these brushes yet because I just got them. I got them in the acrylic... Like if you go to the paint brushes in Michaels and you go find the thing that's labeled acrylic paint, I just picked up like the smallest brush set I could find there. Anyway, back to the amazing Robin. I don't want to misquote, but I think it was she who said that when you're going in to do like your teeny tiny work, um, 
you want to think of like tickling the surface of the nail rather than actually painting it. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with the white nail uh, polish, which is not giving me fine work at all. And then I'm going back in with my black acrylic paint, which is acting a little bit better as an eraser. The reason acrylic paint is so great is because you can thin it down with water and it can get much, much thinner. We're gonna fill in her boiling brew here again with Because I Knew You. And that worked perfectly for her cauldron as well. Anyway, back to the amazing Robin Moses. It wouldn't be much of an exaggeration if I were to say everything I learned about, everything I know about hand painting nail art, I learned from Robin Moses. And I, you know, I obviously am not that great. If you wanna go watch somebody who's really good, and over her channel like I said okay we're gonna detail in a little bit more the witchy poo's face who ended up looking a little bit like a cross between a t-rex and a witch but hey that's her vibe that is her vibe she is the leader of the dino witch coven giving her a few more warts giving her some eyeballs and we're gonna put some purple on her warts and I ended up deciding that I wanted to be able to see her profile a little bit better, so I added in some gray background here by mixing my white nail polish and black acrylic paint. Um, I don't suggest that. It made for like a weird gummy drying texture. Yeah, just keeping it real, guys. I do not recommend you do that. Um, anyway, we're gonna fill in a little bit here and just to, again, keep it real. For a lot of the uh, like really, really tightening up, I had to put my hand like right in front of my face and hold my hand up next to my face. It is very difficult doing nail art, holding it under the camera and doing it upside down. I've done this whole <laughs> manicure upside down. It's pretty tricky. That's how I do all the nails on my channel, but I can't figure out another way to do it. So that's what you're watching. But hey, it's all just for fun. Anyway, you watched me clean up there. Now I'm top coating with some Moonshine Manny quick dry top coat and our manicure is finished. And we are ready to rock this and scare everyone tomorrow. I hope you had some fun hanging out with me today, you guys. And let me know what nail art I should do next down in the comments. See you later, bye. All right guys, so that's it for today. I hope you're having a fantastic Halloween week. Can we just call it Halloween week? I will see you back for another video very soon. Have a spooky night. Take care. Bye.